this video I'm going to show you how to create, edit, delete and view files using PHP uh, code. So you'll be creating a text file with PHP code, editing it out um, within a form. Um, I'm going to create a while loop to view these files. Um, so just view all files in directory excluding some files. Um, so let's get started um, I've created uh, five files here index.php create file.php edit file.php edit.php and delete.php um, you will find out why we have got two edits um, but um, edit underscore file is the um, um, sorry edit.php is the main one I think or edit no, ed edit underscore file will be the main one. Uh, we'll f I'll find out. Um, just carry on. Ignore me. Um, so first of all, before we actually create any PHP code, um, I'm going to create an um, HTML form to actually um, sorry, a bit. Um, to actually create the file type and a name for the file. So we can have form action form action is going to go to create underscore file dot php and the method is going to equal post and the form of the um, file name and uh, we have input type is equal to text name um, obviously name for the file um, I can paragraph that off there to add the uh, submit button um, I don't think we need a name to be honest um, just a value we're not sending it up so we can have like, create file um, so I reckon that um, actually one minute um, for viewing the file, we can just uh, paragraph this break off here after the form, and um, um, we can just have a header here of h2 uh, forward slash h2, and then that will just display the uh, files underneath here later on using this PHP code. Um, so let's see what we've got in that. Um, got file name, type file name there, click create file and once you've edited it out and saved it um, it will appear here um, so for the PHP code um, first off um, I'm going to create a full path and this is going to equal basically a, um, a dot a full stop basically a full stop just means look in the current directory only and um, so that's basically what's going on there it's going to be the current directory or current folder and um, so the directory or folder if you want to call it folder instead um, at open the and then we want to open the full path you don't have to put full path I suppose you probably just put I don't know path or something um, uh, I'm going to select or die um, and say unable to open directory right so we've opened that directory now what we can do is create our while loop um, to actually display these files inside directory so we've got file equals read the and we want to read from the directory and basically we need if statements in here but we're not with so we call on sorry it's just have it other in that um, file is equal to so it's the same as two dots and then like that and two of these are that just means are or you can specifically type r like that but um, it's two of them it's um, I think it's is it shift yeah shift and the one next to shift um in between shift and z um 
so shift and that line it looks like two lines but um, it's one on the screen um, so basically we're going to put in there um, a dot actually I'll show you what it looks like um, without um, any um, checks going on so I'm going to continue the script and echo um, some uh, echo out the files so we can have a href and this will go to the file um, and we can then name the file like that and if forward slash a um, and then what we're going to do is just put uh, about five dots and then we're going to have um, a href and this is going to go to the edit.php um, and we're going to have a question mark a name is equal to the um, file so basically it's going to be a get instead of um, dollar underscore post which we usually get it's going to be dollar underscore get because we're getting um, something that's been passed along through the uh, browser through the uh, address bar um, so basically what we need next is a delete um, one um, but before we do that we need the um, edit uh, forward slash a and we can have one, two, three, four, five, and then basically the same for delete a h ref, um, and that's going to go to delete dot php. Um, we'll just say delete uh, forward slash a. Oops. But also we need on the end of this delete here and the name. Um, is going to be the file name. So if I save this out and see what we've got, um, we can. S oops, no. One second. Um, it might be because I've not done my if statement to be honest. Um, we just. No, nope, so it's not because of that. It's because we need to underscore. After this, we need to close the directory. So we'll close the and we want to close the directory. So now let's try it. No, okay, um I'll have Google. Uh, let me just see what I've done wrong here. Okay, so basically if uh, we just blank out the continue as well, um this is what we get up here. Um, as you can see it's a bit of load of Gobble the gook oops at the moment. Um, so what we can do is, if we break these up, um, so just one second. If you go to the end of this and put a break on there, we can then refresh and we get that. Uh, so it's listed all the files in the current directory um, and. It displayed them there with edit and delete and if you look down at the bottom um, I've not done the edit one but on the delete you see how you've got name and the name changes to the actual name of the file um, so let me just do the name um, I have done it because I've not put a um, name equals try again there we go it's coming up now okay so we want basically we want to blank all these out because we don't want the user to see any of these files to actually delete them or edit them so basically that's where this if statement and the continue comes in so basically if um, and as you can see here this dot and you've got two dots the dot which means current directory as you've probably known from this dot here what we did in the full path um, and the dot dot means the directory below um, the previous directory so as you can see I've got create file in the directory and then PHP so if I click on the two dots it will take me to the PHP directory 
Um, so basically that's what the dot and two dots mean. Um, so basically we just want to cover all the marks. If I put dot in there, and then if I just get rid of these for now, and um, refresh, and as you can see the dot has gone away. So basically we need to basically just copy this along so many times and basically just put in um, each file index.php um, yeah it gets kind of repetitive on this one create underscore file.php just name all the files that you don't want the user to see basically um, so edit underscore file.php um, edit.php and we need one more for um, delete.php I think that's all of them we can refresh okay so there we go all the files have been removed from there and the only f you the only files that the user will see is what files is what file the user has created um, and edited and um, such so um, I'm going to leave this as part one and in part two I'm going to show you how to create the create underscore file script to actually create a file. So join me in part two.